Okay, lift off from the helipad now and hover taxi onto the grass. The first skill to learn is how to lift an object with the sling load cable. We'll start with that pallet of wooden crates. I'll give you positional instructions when we're over the crates. Generally speaking, it's easier to operate the sling load and hoist while flying from the locked spot view. Use the shadow of the crates to gauge their altitude above the ground. Press Shift-Z to monitor the speed and altitude of the helicopter. The sling load cable is 65 feet long, so you need to hover at approximately that height above the ground to attach it to the crates. Use the radio altimeter to judge our height as we approach. Okay, we're close enough to the crates. Check that your hover height is correct and keep it slow. This pallet of crates weighs about 800 pounds. The sling load is rated for 10,000 pounds, so we should be able to lift the crates without any problems. Use the cyclic to make small adjustments to our position forward. Now gently lift off with the pallet of crates attached to the table and fly over to the red flatbed truck. You'll place the crates on the flatbed. Be sure to fly at an altitude high enough to avoid hitting anything with the crates. If you do hit something, the load will be destroyed. When you're ready to attach the cable to the crates, press O to engage the hook. When the cable is within reach of the crates, it should automatically attach. Pressing O again will release the crates and deactivate the hook. Assuming you haven't destroyed the crates, you can attach and release as many times as you want. If your airspeed is too high when the hook passes over the payload, it will not be able to capture the object. It's best to establish a hover over the payload to ensure a good capture. Now that we're over the flatbed truck, slowly decrease hover height until the load is on the flatbed. Forward. Press the auto hook toggle to release the load, then lift off. Excellent job with the pallet of crates. Our next load is the transport vehicle parked on the grass. This vehicle weighs about 7,800 pounds, a lot heavier than the pallet of crates. Once we're stable over the vehicle, adjust your attitude and height to get the cable in position to attach to the vehicle. Now lift the vehicle and deliver it to the barge floating offshore. You'll notice that with the greater weight of the vehicle, the pendulum effect is exaggerated and it's more difficult to control the helicopter. Slow down before we lose the load.
good job with the transport vehicle. Now we'll learn to use the rescue hoist. For the most part, flying the helicopter when using the rescue hoist is similar to using the sling load, except that the load is hanging off the side of the helicopter and thus tends to pull a bit in that direction. You can extend or retract the hoist cable to pull objects into the helicopter. Most of the time, you'll be pulling an accident victim up into the helicopter. The hoist can handle up to 600 pounds, and the cable can extend up to 300 feet. Now we'll perform a mock rescue. There's a rescue swimmer waiting for us in the water near the dive boat. He'll be our accident victim. Without any immediate obstacles, you don't need to use the full length of the hoist cable, and you can hover at a comfortable height above the water. It'll be easier if you're not too close to the water. Although it's easiest to fly with the sling load and hoist using locked spot view, you can change to other views. To change to side door or hoist view, just press A. Press Control U to deploy the hoist. Watch the cable descend toward the victim. When it reaches the victim, the hook should engage automatically. If you have disengaged the hook, press O to re-engage it. Now extend the cable by pressing J. You can retract it by pressing K. Adjust your hover height only if the cable isn't long enough to reach the victim. Now press K to retract the cable. When the victim reaches the helicopter door, press O to pull him into the helicopter. To stow the hoist, press Ctrl U. This will move the hoist to the stowed position and close the door. Watch the cable descend toward the victim. When it reaches the victim, the hook should engage automatically. If you have disengaged the hook, press O to re-engage it. Excellent job rescuing the victim. Although cutting the cable or releasing the load can sometimes be necessary to save the helicopter and crew, you shouldn't drop the load unless the situation is truly dire. Now return to the airport and land on the helipad.
Great job. You've completed all the tutorial objectives.